Tanner is a man in motion. I come down here and play pool every day. He's always moving whether he chooses to or not. Well, if I don't, if I don't use it, I, I go into shaking my right arm real bad and I can't do anything with it, I can't stop it. His tremors are a symptom of Parkinson's disease, not to be mistaken for a more common disorder called essential tremor. Essential tremor is a disorder of the brain. There are some abnormal signals in the brain that miscommunicates uh, with the hands and with the muscles. Essential tremors are rhythmic shakes most noticeable when someone is trying to use their fine motor skills. Tremors can interfere with their ability to write legibly. Other things are getting dressed in the morning, specifically buttoning or zippering or putting on makeup or fastening jewelry. People also have trouble uh, with eating. On the other hand, Parkinson's patients like Herbert have resting tremors, which come on when they aren't doing anything. I used to try to stop it and I'd put it in my pocket and but it doesn't go away. While tremors link the two conditions, there are several things that set them apart. Parkinson's patients have rigid muscles and a weakness in the face and throat. Eventually, they'll have trouble with walking and balance. Parkinson stems from a deficiency of dopamine in the brain. Essential tremors is thought to result from faulty neurological impulses. A variety of treatments are available to alleviate essential tremors. If the tremor is very mild, we usually just prescribe or suggest occupational therapy. If the tremor is a little bit more bothersome, there are a variety of medications and some of them work very well. Severe cases may benefit from deep brain stimulation, all options to help people get a grip on their shaking. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.